So I finally made it. I finally got a thousand subscribers and this may seem really insignificant and small, but to me personally, this is a major achievement. The reason why 1000 subscribers is a major milestone for a YouTube creator is that it enables more features for that creator. In order to celebrate my 1000 subscriber milestone, I'm going to be celebrating this by cleaning my keyboard and showing you what it's like. So it took me about a year to get here. My first video was posted in the beginning of October of 2018. And since then, I've been constantly experimenting with different camera equipment, different filming angles. And you might have seen that my content has been very sporadic. I posted you know, stuff about wearables and VR and camera equipment. And I'm starting to learn what works and what doesn't work. For example, content that is very saturated where YouTubers have done a million reviews, for example, like the GoPro Hero 7, I'm gonna get no views on that because there are millions and millions of reviews out there already and high paid YouTubers that are paid by the company to make you know, reviews for that product. The content that I've seen success in is in uh, wearables, such as watches, smartwatches, fitness trackers. And to me, this is great because it's actually a huge passion of mine and I hope to continue posting more content about this. The only issue with this is that it's very hard for me to get access to all these new devices. Unfortunately, I'm a very small YouTuber and I don't receive uh, products for free or for sample. So it's really hard for me to go out and use my own money to buy these products. I've also noticed that a lot of videos that I posted that were for my own satisfaction, such as testing different lenses or different mics or trying different camera setups, that only helped me. I basically got no views. So for me, it's very beneficial to put this content out, but unfortunately I get no views. So if I wanna be successful, I think I really need to change my direction of this YouTube channel and kind of focus on things that actually get me more views and hopefully maybe one day can make some revenue and you know produce more content and be able to purchase different devices, wearable devices and stuff like that. Throughout making all my videos for the past year, I've noticed that I have need to improve more in my writing and my presentation skills. To me, this has been personally the biggest struggle. I also find that in general, making YouTube videos is very hard. If you want to produce a video every week and you're just one person, it requires a ton of effort. For example, you have to write it, you have to set up all the camera equipment, you kind of need to rehearse the script a little bit, you know, sometimes to avoid rambling and stuff like that, which I do quite often and I'm sorry for that. Then you have to edit it and then you have to film all the B-roll and, and all that stuff and make a thumbnail, put the tags in description and then actually you have to go out and kind of advertise your video. You need to go on like on forums and Reddit, otherwise, you kind of just kind of rely on the YouTube algorithm to kind of put your video out there, which can actually fail. So there's actually a ton of work involved in putting videos and I'm not sure how long I can do, go on do this. So hopefully I can get to a new milestone, maybe 10,000 subscribers, and that will keep me motivated and hopefully continue this journey. Another thing I learned is that it requires significant money, not only for just equipment, you know, cameras are very expensive, the lighting, the microphones, a computer that can edit 4K, but also trying to buy these products that you can review. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still not at the point where companies would ever send me a free product to review, with the exception of some, which I'm very grateful for. Also, by not having access to a line of, let's say, wearable products, it kind of makes it very difficult to stay, stay focused on one particular subject. That's why this channel may have different types of content like VR and other things that I buy that are tech-related. However, I kind of wish that I was you know, be able to focus on one specific product. Perhaps in the future, this might be the case. Anyways, I just wanna give a big thanks to all the subscribers and all the people who have left comments and liked the video and were very motivating in me to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for sticking in. And I really hope that next year in 2020, that my YouTube channel will definitely continue to grow. And I hope that I continue to produce content that you guys like. And please let me know in the comments what kind of content you, you think is gonna be best for me. I'm really curious to what you know. Anyways, that's it for this video. I want to thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got a lot of comments that my keyboard was absolutely disgusting, so I finally went out and bought some compressed air, and here's the video. Check it out.